a heads up for drivers headed to the high country. Emergency repairs have begun along Interstate 80 that could lead to some major slowdown. Yeah, and the problems actually stem from last winter's epic storms. Let's show you. The work's going to take several weeks and cover several miles from Colfax, stretching all the way to the state line. So, yeah, we're talking uh, quite a ways. Mm -hmm. CBS 13 Shante Passmore is getting answers for us now on what's being done and when to expect the biggest delay. Shante. Yeah, guys, right now, as you'll see behind me, traffic is moving along just fine, but that's expected to change in the coming days. We're told this massive project will span three counties with some delays lasting up to two hours. There's grooves, there's potholes. It's just, it's horrible. This is I-80. Deluge after deluge slammed into Northern California, leaving the interstate battered from severe weather, heavy traffic, and snow chains. High in the foothills and Sierra, a recreation hotspot. It's also a hub for trucks hauling goods across the country. California probably rates number one. This is some of the worst roads there is right here. Now, the clock is ticking for Caltrans to fix sections of I-80. If we didn't do anything, um, our engineers looked at the potential that these areas could not withstand additional damage moving forward going into the next storm systems. Emergency repairs began Monday near Truckee. Crews will focus on the stretch between Colfax to the state line. The pavement repairs are broken into five sections. Currently, crews are working in location five, where drivers may experience delays of up to 15 minutes during the day through Friday. Following Labor Day weekend, work will begin in the other sections. Caltrans says repairs happening simultaneously at all five locations could cause up to two hour delays. It's a trade off some drivers are willing to accept for the short term. I support them working on it. It needs to get done, but it needs to get done in a better, faster way. And back out here live again this evening, if all goes well, including the weather, Caltrans says it hopes to have this project done as early as late October. If you're wondering why start this emergency project now with that deadline around the corner, well, Caltrans tells me it was still reviewing plans while also reviewing road conditions earlier this summer. And the hope is, is that they won't find themselves in a similar situation after another brutal winter.